Greetings and salutations, my fellow Entropians. It is nighttime here in uh, New Treasure Island. This is, uh, this is, what, what, what are we calling this again today? The Tale of New Treasure Island here in Entropia Universe. That's right. We're going to go through, go out through New Treasure Island. And uh, we're, we're going to hunt. We're, we're going to hunt. I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you right now. We have uh, managed to... Uh, uh, we hit our deposit limit. And then uh, because we was buying all the New Treasure Island shares. And then we had to request uh, a, a higher limit. So we did that. And I put down 100 in universal ammo and i did a little hunt and uh now we have 312. And this was all done today that being said i mean most of it actually is already all, all of it is actually in here uh we, we we did a nice little hunt we got nice profits and all this other stuff. we got like 500 uh i managed to throw some uh i got animal muscle oil and uh, I managed to get some simple uh, one conductors made, which is like 200 and something. I put up for bid. I put everything up for bid only. You know, it ho hopefully we'll make some money off of it. If not, you know, it, it is what it is. And we got a nice combustive attack nano chip four. We did the things. Oh man! But there, there, there you go. Ooh. Uh, the soper stone textures. I put them up and it only sold for 102. That's, that's not good. It's not good. Consider it, it really does cost a lot more to, to craft those. Um, it just is what it is, I guess. All right, so we're going to be working with what armor we have on right now. Um, I guess it's the ghost armor and the Oberon helmet. If you did not know the Oberon helmet, I have not really actually showed it off too much, but... It's it's quite so it's an unlimited version which I guess costs a pretty little penny and I think I have like maybe the only one that has ever hit the the auction house there might be a couple more floating out there let's go ahead and put out the Oberon harness as well um because I, I I want to try to be one of the first people to tear these things up and it's gonna be a long time before that actually happens so let's see how that that goes um. And we are right here at the New Treasure Island. Uh, I don't even want to know what to call this little area right here. I guess it's the, the new area. There's not even a teleporter here. It's kind of weird. But we're going to... We're going to go hunt some curbs. Uh, because curbs are actually on this, this part of the island right over here. Now, the thing is with the curbs here... Uh, There's like a stalker over here. He's like level 17, which is higher than what I've seen on uh, Calypso Mainland. Of course, I don't know where you could find stalkers on uh, on Endoria. Um, so, uh, it, it's just a toss-up. So we're running through, I guess, we'll just run there. It's not that far away. Um, I actually managed to get uh, a lot of loot uh, from the curbs over here at, at mm, pretty decent. Uh, I think, uh, we might've actually broke even with the repair bills, but I, I was, I was at it since like seven this morning to like 11 30, 12 o'clock. And I was like, all right, it's time to watch some anime. And now it's like three hours later, uh, talentless Nana. Um, I thought it was going to be cute. It's not cute. I mean, Nana's pretty cute, but I mean, uh, I, I don't want to spoil it for you. It, it's cute and, until she's not. And then, yeah. Look, we have already met. What is this? A, this is a Prowler? A level 17 Prowler? May, 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 maybe I was a little bit wrong. All right. These things actually kind of hurt. But we're going to use the Corrosive Nano Chip 7. Let's go ahead and oh, Papillon. First thing, I'll take it. These things actually do hurt. Let's uh, throw in an arsonistic chip and this right through here. It's gonna suck because I might need to heal already. Already 50%. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe I should put on the other ghost armor. And just add that extra percentage that I'll actually be able to not die. Alright, already start with some animal muscle oil. Alright, so I need more animal muscle oil uh, so I can craft more of the simple one components. Uh, because I have a lot of the animal eye oil, which all of, all of the materials that I'm starting to get is strictly from Treasure Island at this point. Um, I got the animal eye oils from the fowl, actually. And I think over around on the other side, the, the on, with the cornicadas, you get the, the, the next big blue uh, animal adrenal, probably. It's, it's, it's that big blue one. And get that from them so I, I could probably pretty much just craft all the simple conductors but we're gonna use the simple conductors as a way to get PED um, and we're gonna burn through all of our universal ammo hopefully we get something really nice um, it's really weird uh, when it comes down to loot theories and, and stuff like that I really think that one one big reason that there's a lot of shrapnel going around and stuff like that is because crafters are, are, are really just rocking down on the EP, uh, the explosive projectiles, and that just fills up the loot with uh, shrapnel. I could be wrong. I mean, it, it could just be one of those things. I, I think I think my dark like legit just wanted it to be mostly shrapnel anyway, so that's what drops. But that being said, I mean. If I could take uh, a lot of the actual materials that I'm getting from all the mobs here and then just crafting them, who knows? Maybe it might change the loot pool a little bit. I doubt it, though. Um, I'm pretty sure that uh, my economic loot pool theory, which is interesting because it, it all ties into what goes on in the market actually ends up being what ends up dropping. So if there's like a lot of people buying like say animal muscle oil or something like that, if they buy the oil and that means it, it triggers what's going to actually drop uh, somewhere else off in the world or something like that. Uh, same with most of these other materials and stuff like that. I don't know. I, I just don't know uh, as, as, as it stands, but it's just something interesting that I thought up that could or could not be it's just a loot theory probably wrong it's probably just w w what is here is what is here for the most part so excitement excitement hoping for some really good loots this 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 turnaround um i did manage to get maybe one global uh since i since i've been hunting the curbs here but it just doesn't seem like uh curbs really like the global big uh, curbs like the global kind of kind of small you hear that wicked freaking cool it's it's like a, a slight radio hum and that's actually coming off the corrosive attack nano chip let's go ahead and check that out really quick I, I really love this thing I just picked it up like a couple days ago I'm probably pretty sure I showed it off in the previous videos, but you know I want to show it off again just so you guys know what I'm working with. Um, we are trying to get to level 27 to max out the chip, um, but our damage is already maxed out, so it's 20, 22, uh, 50, uh, uh, 22.5 to 45 is is the max damage, and it attacks pretty quickly. It, once we get it maxed out, it's going to attack like really quick which is par for the course for attack nano chips now the thing is um mind force is very unique in the aspect that all right we're, we're gonna we're gonna close out rookie here so we could just go ahead and look at most of the stuff i don't i, I love rookie chat uh, that's how i like to talk to people <laughs> May you know what? Maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should tell people in rookie chat that I'm streaming. Check this out. I'm streaming.
There we, there we go. I'm streaming if you want to come chill. Oh, white rim with the potato. You gave me five Australian dollars for potatoes? Hell yeah, man. Look at that, though. We've got really good animal muscle oil uh, drops since we actually came through here. That's 342. I'm really excited about this. It's showtime! 007 is up in the house. He says, yo! Hey, man. Yo! Hello. How's it going, man? <laughs> Alright. So, new treasure island. I think that the loot is actually better here, but I could be mistaken. I could just be very biased. White Run says, potatoes are worth the $5. Yes, you're absolutely right. Potatoes are worth about $5. At least a bag of potatoes. But then again, with inflation, who freaking knows nowadays. Now, it looks like uh, it's daytime. I might as well just go ahead and bite the bullet. And I get, I mean, my room's a freaking mess. But who, who really cares? Boom! <laughs> here, here we are. All right, let's, let, let, let's get some lights up in this situation. Uh, what, what, what we got for loots? Uh, all right, lights, 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 lights. Boom. That's all. That's all it takes. Of course, I could just open up the window a little bit, and there would be a little bit of light up in there. But there, there we go. Hey, everybody. <laughs> all right. So for those of you guys that do not know what this game is. Byron says, had Japanese curry last night. Need potatoes for that. Ooh, Japanese curry. You know, being in Australia, you probably have a lot more Japanese-inspired dishes over there. That's 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 pretty tight. Because, you know, where, where you are. It's Australia. This game. Real cash economy. Everything's worth real money. Uh, we... I personally, I play at a rate that other people do not play at. Uh, if you're just starting out, you're not going to play at my level. Um, and I have the choice to play at a lower level if I so choose to want to. But I figured, hey, I'm on YouTube. I'm streaming. Might as well give people that... Uh, cannot play at my level a chance to at least see some of the actual uh, stuff going down at my level so that so that they at least know that uh, loot sucks no matter what <laughs> and, and it kind of does um, but we've been getting a lot of skills lately and the loot has not actually sucked as bad as I think it sucks because whenever I do the calculations at the end of every hunt, I'm, I'm actually walking away with a lot more resources. And the only thing that stops me from hunting is the sheer simple fact that I didn't get enough shrapnel to keep me hunting. That's my problem. Wyrus says, I have exactly zero interest in this game, to be honest. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. <laughs> this is for the people that like the game. Damn it, White Red. <laughs> Why you like this? <laughs> it's a cool game, though, man. It's the community. The The community is one of the, the, the coolest parts about this game. Because I like, I like everything about economies. Like, so much so that I'll look into the real-world economy. Just, just That's my, my jam. And then comes to find out, you know, a lot of other people in this game, they like the same thing. Which is really cool. So you can get into some interesting conversations with people. And then, uh, I don't know. It's just some, some, some people want to think that this is some sort of get rich quick scheme. And it's, it's really not like that. I mean, but you can't get rich. I'm, I'm, I, 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 I'm sure of it. I'm 100% sure of it. It, but you can't really get rich unless you put time and effort into things. And that I'm lazy. It's Showtime says, There is just something magical about this game. Yes, absolutely. 
There wasn't anything magical about that loot, but I guess I got soft hide and thin wool. I really think that with all the uh, the soft hides and the thin wools and the foul buttons and all this other stuff, I think I could actually legit be a tailor from the stuff that drops here alone. Like I could straight up make make all sorts of clothing. And who knows? I might actually end up doing just that. We're almost dead, but you know what? We're 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 going to just keep keep bashing this thing. All right. Ah. Of course, you know, some people, they, they really do require a lot more of action in their games and stuff like that. This game, 25 PEDs worth of shrapnel right there. I'm telling you, we're, this is not a bad area. Because um, if you're outside Boreas fighting Kerberoses, you really can't get a really big loot like that. And I think here you can. Um, it Showtime says, It'll be interesting to see what in Unreal 5 does to the look of the game. Oh, yeah. I looked into that, and it's completely legit. They're, they're actually going to use the Unreal 5 engine. I am really interested in see Maybe we can go back into the prone. Like, like, like you could back in the day. Who knows? But, but White Run, thank you for the five Australian dollars for potatoes. We're definitely gonna use it for potatoes. Uh, I'm probably gonna use it for my credit card debt that I have incurred buying all of these freaking shares right here. My God, I can't believe I'm like so far into debt now. This is three thousand dollars in debt plus what I already had, which is. A decent amount as well. I'm poor. I'm freaking poor now. I'm like, I'm like, not positive money. I'm negative money poor. Like, but I'm okay with it. I, 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 I'll, I'll dig myself out of it eventually. Who knows though? I might get one of those all-time highs or something. But let's be real, if I got an all-time high, I'm probably going to go on a spinning spree in this game. Like, no joke. <laughs> We're going to buy everything. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm going to spread the money. I'm going to spread the love. That's what I'm going to end up doing if, if, if I strike it big in this. Or I'll just sink everything into deeds. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I got some interesting intel from somebody that uh, sent me a sent me a message today, and it was talking about Calypso land deeds and how they're going to go back to about 2000, and uh, uh, New Treasure Island is actually the brand new top to everything. It's no longer the Calypso land deed. It's now New Treasure Island deeds is going to be the tip top, and it's going to cause a massive sell off of Calypso land deeds and I kind of believe it because there's there's definitely a lot more sales prices are starting to drop and uh, I don't know why but I don't know why he said that the price targets gonna be about 2000 but there was also s some conspiracy about uh, mind arc owning over half of them I mean I can't confirm or deny uh, whether or not Mindark is buying everything back, in, or is if Mindark is trying to crash the price down to 2000 I don't know. But it would make sense if they was to try to do that, mostly so that they could... Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know how, how it works, how they get their money, or extra money, or anything. All I know is they just got a whole $800,000. Uh, from the sale of New Treasure Island, which I guess somebody gets profits, so everybody... I don't know anything about anything dealing with what they do with the money. All I know is... What's going to happen to uh, Calypso Land Deeds? Is the price really going to drop down to 2000 Because I I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I think that that would be freaking great. Plague is like, nerd... Yeah, I know. 
I know. Whatever. I, I, I know I'm a nerd. I never said I wasn't, okay? I've, I've kind of always been a nerd. <laughs> Look, when it comes down to it, if the price drops, I'm going to be happy because then I can buy them for cheaper. And then just live off the dividends. But that being said, I have to uh, amass enough to, to, to get more. Which I have to pay off my credit cards before I can get more of anything in this game. Or anything in real life, really. I have to pay off my credit cards. Which is going to take a little while. Maybe a few months. More than a few months. I don't know. Maybe I might have to actually end up selling the Calypso Landy so I can pay off my credit cards. In three months time because that's how, how, how long withdrawals take. It, it, it takes a fraction of a second to put money in the game. It takes like three months to get it out. Whatever. <laughs> what do we get? Oh hell yeah. The Kerberos challenge. Let's go ahead and claim something nice. Now, phew, I want to get my cryogenics up more than anything. And... Wait a minute. Alright, now we can claim the reward. Intelligent Psyche or Strength. Maybe we should go with some Psyche. We go up one Psyche? Or go up one Strength? Psyche or Strength? I don't know. Let's check. Attributes. What do we need more of? We only got 59 Psyche. Ooh, we can get the 70 Strength? Or 60 Psyche. Alright, let's let's go with Psyche. Alright, good things happened. What is this? Why are you attacking me? Stop. Stop immediately. Alright, did we get anything upgraded? No, we didn't get sh We didn't get nothing. No upgrades. But I want to see how far up we got with this. 29.3. We gotta get to 30 before we can start using the cryo attack nano chip 7. It's maxed out on damage, but the hit is just atrocious. And it's not in skill, skill increase bonus it, it, until level 30. So we have to get to level 30 with that. And that's my PvP. If Once I, once I get that level, that's my PvP weapon of choice. And then I might go out and do some, some PvP runs out in the lootable PvP zone. Um, granted, uh... It's mostly because most people don't really stack resist for cold, but they might. I don't know what happens in lootable PvP because I, I don't go. But it does seem kind of exciting just to think about it. Alright, just one heal will do me. Alright, what is it looking like so far? We got. 19 in Animal Muscle World, about 50 PDs and Shrapnel and Thimbles and Rationalizer components have actually, for some reason, I guess they've gone up. But is that just market manipulation right there? Curly Traps is like, nice shirt. You damn right it's a nice shirt. Like, don't tread on me, baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> But I can't. I, I really seriously. Oh god, it's a level 17 prowler here. We got, we got to be on our p's and q's. And wa watch everything intently and with a purpose. You know, I'm just switch over to this gun. There we go. Get wrecked. 288. I'm gonna shoot the shoot, shoot the gun for a little while. But yeah, it's, this is one of my favorite shirts. I just recently bought it, and it has it has uh, has stuff on the back. But yeah, you need one of those shirts. Um, go go to uh, I think Alex Jones sells them. Yeah, he needs the money. <laughs> Apparently, because he has to he has to go to court because of January the sixth or something. 
because the government's trying to get him on 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 some some BS. They're literally trying to get him for January sixth, which I don't know, man. I mean, he uh, I don't really want to get into it, but I, I I don't think he did anything wrong, and he has the video the videos to prove it. I'm just throwing that out there. Oscar Be Beasley says Santa is watching us. Yeah, you know it's the truth. Santa's the new big brother. Or has he always been big brother? Santa! Uh -huh. he, he knows when you've been sleeping. He knows when, when you say things online you shouldn't. That's right. <laughs> uh, things things are outwardly just weird now. Whenever I play this game, oh, 1474. Whenever I play this game, it, it it's mostly a, a great time to chat with everybody because it, everything's a little bit slower paced. I get to, to chat with people, and we get to see if I if I make any money or not. And uh, we all like money. I, I know we do. Oh, I got... Uh. All right. Everything itches. <gasps> oh, my God. There's actually someone here. I wonder who it is. Who is that? It's a girl we'll never know unless he comes over here. There's a little green dot right there. Look, what it all boils down to is I play this game so I can just have some chat time with everybody. It's like a great game for that. Ganther, it's Ganther Mick, Mr. Dr. Poop, poops a lot. What a wonderful name. <laughs> Plague says, Santa is Big Brother, confirmed. Captain Awesome says, hey, Laura here, but driving so so to my radio home today. So to my radio home today? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll be, be your radio today? That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. So make sure we, we actually have extra chats. Because I'm mostly going to be monitoring chats. So if you have questions, I have answers. Um, you want to talk about pretty much anything. Be it this game, Fallout. Uh, drama. <laughs> politics. To, to a limited extent. I mean, anything goes, I guess. You don't want to get me started on a rant, though. Because then, then I'll just like, yeah, I'll just get all upsetty spaghetti. Which I guess I was going to start ranting about this anyway, but I did once I started, like I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> so I have no idea. This is what it is. Ooh, two sixty-two. Oh, the Kerberos Prowler. We're going to get this sucker. I thought it was a stalker, but I guess I was wrong. I guess the stalkers are somewhere else. It's a prowler. If anything, it's going to be that one that kills me. And then we can just get garbage loot. But I think it really has something to do with this gun. I kind of figured that the actual gun... Being that it does more damage, it, 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 everything just great about it when it comes to downing these things, but it just seems that it does not provide the loot whenever it drops. And with the corrosive nano chip, it just seems like the loot's a lot better for some reason. I don't even know why. This game is really weird. Maybe it's because it costs more to do it like this, but maybe it doesn't. Plex says, reminds me of that episode of South Park where the government was using Santa to watch people. That's... I didn't watch that episode. I've stopped watching all TV. Anything mainstream. I don't have Netflix. The only 
mainstream thing I'll watch is anime at this point. And that's because it didn't used to be mainstream, but I guess it's mainstream now, and it's starting to show. It really is. It's starting to actually show. Um, because I guess the voice actors are American, and they, they want to inject some some political stuff in there or not political but i'm gonna say activist stuff in there it's like all right mr lewis is like ooh, sup nerds hey man how's it going how you doing mr lewis but I looked at the analytics, and since I've been doing uh, Entropia content for at least maybe the past uh, few days to like a week now, uh, we've managed to get back up to 6,555 subscribers. Is it 55 subscribers? 61. 6,561, which is actually our new high. Um, so... I think that that's actually incredible that we're actually getting more subscribers now. I don't know what happened, but it looks like we lost like so many subscribers over Fallout because people just, uh, I guess, they're done with me in Fallout, I guess. But it's just you guys now. You, you, you amazing people that, that continue to watch me day after day, no matter what the game is. Which I appreciate it, like, in, intently and amazingly. Um... Oscar Beats says, Samurai Pizza Cats is the only anime. Oh, uh, what? I don't think I've watched that yet. Yet. I'll, I'll definitely watch it. Uh, Mr. Lewis says, just got back from the ERB store. Lol, God, I love Seattle. I I used to kind of like Seattle, but uh, then they gave me a felony for no reason. And uh, Kind of started to hate it. Plague says I picked up Shield Hero, binged it. And now I haven't haven't wait till next year for more. Ep oh, you have to wait until next year for more episodes. Yo, Rising of the Shield Hero is one of my favorites, and I cannot wait for the next season. I'm glad that they green light green lit that to go up. Uh, Eight fifteen. Shrapnel drop right there. It looks like we are making some money. Uh, Mr. Lewis is like, meh, Fallout is lame now. Yeah, it is. It's gotten so lame. Like, the only cool thing about it probably now is the camps. This is like, because people ruined it. Mr. Lewis says, Lowell, are you from the Pacific Northwest? No, I was stationed at Fort Lewis, Washington when I was in the Army. So I went from North Carolina to Washington State. It's pretty cool. Because I, I, I had al always wanted to go there, though. Like, because I used to be in Magic, in, into Magic the Gathering, and I knew that... Uh, you know, Seattle was where, where where Wizards of the Coast was, and and then when I went up there, uh, I was like really stoked because I got I got stationed there at random, like at random. And it was like wow, that's amazing. And I, and I never went to go check out the Wizards of the Coast store or anything like that. I just like worked <laughs> with the army. <laughs> that's it. Saw Farmer says, that's because you aren't pooping on beds anymore. Yeah. I need, I need to go back to doing stuff like that. I mean, it's still on the table. The offer is still up on the table. I can I can go 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 and rate camps anytime I want. But just let me know whenever there's PvP again. But I I I, I really think that they've they've let the game just die. They don't. They don't want players that like PvP because then they have to actually work. Whatever. Um, Mr. Lewis says, "I knew I liked you. All the coolest people live in the Pacific Northwest. Well, I live in I live in North Carolina again. So it is. It is what it is. It's less than like a mile away from you. The you you mean the the uh, the." Wizards of the Coast. 
All right, Mr. Lewis says, oh, you, you got to see the whole rainforest and stuff, right? I, I don't know. I don't think I did, honestly. I didn't, really didn't go anywhere. I just stayed in my room and played this game and other games in World of Warcraft and all that other stuff. Mr. Lewis says, it's where they filmed Jurassic Park. I didn't know that they filmed Jurassic Park in Washington State. I had no idea. Cat Mossa says season seven with Zorbo is PvP bait. Is it though? Really? Cat Mossa says the new come get me wanted emote, but no PvP? Come on. Yeah, I know it, look. It it's not gonna be PvP based. If it was PvP based, they would actually do PvP things. They're just gonna like Release the season. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, we got new stuff to put in our camps. And, and, but it means nothing. They, they, they get... Per, it's, it's like, it's like whatever a food build names himself the most badass raider name. And ends up, like, like, cussing you out when you kill them because they got wanted and they don't know what wanted means. You know? Like... That that that's what PvP is in this game now, or, or in Fallout seventy six. It's, it's a bunch of pretend people just pretending that they're badass. But when when it comes time to you know be badass, they they puss out. Yeah, you, know, you know it's the truth. Oscar BZ says, "Sorry, I've been away. Took a month of internet total digital detox." You know, that's that's actually pretty good to do. I don't think I've ever done that. I might need to do something like that, but actually the last time I had a total digital de detox, I I I think I went crazy. I don't think it'd be good for me. I don't think that's for me. Um Miss Lewis says, "Bro, you were like in the heart of the best part. We are an hour from the ocean, an hour from Mount St. Helens and all that nice." And so true. Wyvern says, I'm back. What did I miss? We started talking about Fallout 76 and how the new season is going to be PvP based. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> Plague says, I get PvP sometimes in workshops. Last week, Dun Guy, Dun, or Dun, Dome Guy got really afraid, called me a bunch of slurs. So me and two of my friends took turns killing him. That's. It's what has to happen, you know? But, I mean, just laugh about it, because that, that's just hella funny. Uh, all of it's true? Right on, Mr. Lewis. Whiteworth said, it's what? It's, it's PvP-based. It's supposed to be PvP-based. Um, but it's, it's not. <laughs> it's not going to be PvP-based. Are you kidding me? Have we gotten any good loots? Do you think double digits? Give me double digit loots. Dr. Broom 6 says, I took a break from the internet once. Found my crazy second ex-wife. Yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to take a break from the internet, gentlemen. Just just throwing that out there. Cause you can catch you can catch weird diseases from crazy crazy women. So you just gotta just stay on the internet probably for the best to enjoy what you have because you never know when the EMP is going to detonate over the continental United States and there will be no internet for anybody they're already talking about stuff like that happening just, just gotta gotta have faith that the aliens are gonna gonna keep keep the uh, EMP from doing that which I, I, I don't think that they will Maybe everyone does need a break from the internet. Mr. Lewis is like, whoa, boomstick, what's up, man? And then Plague says, he also picked my locks like twice. Whiteburn says, I don't know, man. Found one of my exes in person and one on the internet. They both went, went pretty not well. <laughs> both went pretty not good. Yeah, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, well, I mean, 
She, I, I don't know. However you find your women, guys, just, 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 just know that women are crazy. Most women will agree. <laughs> Dr. Boomstick says, not must Mr. Lewis trying to find Jarun on D2. Interesting. What is our loot count now? We're supposed... Uh, I want to at least gather up uh, like a hundred animal muscle oil. That'd just make my day. Because then we're going to go back and we're going to go craft. And then probably not fight curbs anymore. But, that being said, I really gotta check to see about these curbs really, really quick. Uh, Kerberos, Kerberos, Kerberos. Uh, it's, it's a K. Kerberos. You're level 19 in the Codex, and it looks like it's gonna take forever to get to level 20. Ugh. Maybe I could go back to fighting Fal or something. Where it says, I think people in general are just not great at being decent partners. Yeah, I, 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 I think there, there, there's things wrong with us, us guys as well. So, I mean, whatever. I, I mean, it, everyone's an individual and everybody has their issues, I suppose. Um, Cat Mosso says, wait, real Boomstick? If so, hi, sir, you are a legend. Damn right, Dr. Boomstick's a legend. And that is the real Dr. Boomstick, by the way. Mr. Lewis says, I've been stuck on Forza lately. I have made the most amazing drift car ever, LOL. Yep, that's the real one, Captain. Hell yeah. Plague says, are you a sorcerer, B Boomstick? They have better MF. What? <laughs> Dr. Boomstick's like, yeah, this is the real Boomstick. <laughs> and you guys, you guys really are nerds. <laughs> Y'all are a bunch of nerds. <laughs> nah, Sork, you can't kill everything in the game. What? <laughs> White says they're talking about Diablo 2 stuff. I have no idea anything about Diablo 2. I I didn't really get into Diablo. I mean, I played Diablo 1. I don't know what I played it on, but I played it. I didn't really like it. The truth be told, I, I wasn't really a big fan. Plex says, Chain Lightning, my friend. See? I, and then some people, like, they got really into it and they just go around killing the boss and picking up all that loot and stuff and then they'd find some really cool loot that they tried to sell online for, like, real money. And I guess that's cool, but, like, come on. Let's just... Brain... or, or, or just random number generators for the best loot and... I, I, I guess that's cool. I don't know. Plague said, er, no, Mr. Lewis says, I need to get a PC so I can play this. Yeah, you do. This is the perfect chill game, like, in general. Let, 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 let's, let's see. We got, we got let, trolling, slandering, harassing, threatening, spamming, and ruining the entropy experience for others is not nice, nor will be tolerated any longer. See? Rookie chat. It's like the global chat, but everyone can see it. <laughs> it, it's, 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 it keep spamming harassment insults threats and attacks they only go in the reports oh my god what do we got here is, what is going on what's going on in here I don't see anybody harassing anybody what is he talking about Rookie channel is not for you trolls. Man, rookie rookie chat's like the coolest thing ever, man. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's monitor rookie chat for a minute. Man, it's like free speech galore in, up in here. Let me tell you. Um, Dr. Rubensick says, light, light, Lightning Sentry and Death Sentry immunes mean nothing to me. Yeah, that makes sense. Mr. Lewis says, Bro, who's here that hasn't liked the stream? Go and like it and come back in here. LOL, yes. Like the stream. There's 12 of you. There's only 8 likes. You gotta help me out, guys! I need as many likes as I can so it pushes the algorithm to show it to more people. So I can pay off my credit card debt. Duh. <laughs> nah, li like the video if you want. If you don't want to, I'll just be sad. Mr. Lewis says it's a hissing match between Karens. <laughs> Where it says SJW style harassment, i.e., someone disagreed with you. <laughs> That's usually what, what it is. Lore, I'm waiting for you to do something. I have been doing something this entire time. Oh, uh, I thought that was a good loot, but it's not. Never mind. Oh, here we go. Title belt time. White Rick said, hey, I threw money at you this time. Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, uh, White Rick gave me five Australian dollars. That's going toward, towards my credit card debt. That I maxed out one of my credit cards, but it's okay. It, it, I'll just be in debt. You know, it's not a big deal. My like, God, is this thing going to kill me? User successfully ignored. User successfully ignored. Like, what is going on? I, I don't get it. Plague says, I made a druid when I played through. I played bowling with the Molten Boulder spell. It was good times. Interesting. You're still talking about the... I know nothing about Diablo. You don't call Z COVID. It's Winnie the Pooh. Oh, I get it. People are dissing on China. They're dissing on China in the chat, and I guess somebody's getting really upset. He's spaghetti. And 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 uh, interesting. <laughs> Imagine simping for China. Cat Masa says, "Watch Viva La Dirt: The Karen Saga. It's hilarious. I don't know what that is, but it sounds interesting." Byron says, "It's like USD, but more kangaroo." Oh yeah, Australian dollars, huh? More kangaroo, please. Leon Hawkeye says, I don't have enough popcorn for all that salt. I know, right? You know, used to, I would never show any form of any chat ever. But ever since I started playing Fallout 76 and I've recorded so much salt, this is, this is like, this is, this is what it, this is, this, this is the game right here, man. Just look at rookie chat and just see people wigging out. This is hilarious. <laughs> Dr. Room 6 says, well, I made Sork for 20 years. I was doing it wrong the entire time. Assassin is where it's at. I still don't know what you're talking about. Diablo. Diablo. Um, I, I, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. Hold on. We are laughing at rookie chat. <laughs> see if, see if people come in just to just to see us laughing at rookie chat. <laughs> Stir the pot. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> Plague says, I played a little bit of everything, but Druid is what kept I kept coming back to in Diablo 3. It's ne Necromancer, Corpse Explosions, too much fun. Um, 
That actually does sound kind of fun. Not gonna lie. Corpse explosions. Just make it go boom. Dead dead things go boom. And then make... Does, is it like a chain explosion? And that would be tight. Uh, Whiter says, Eh, I played all the characters. Casters definitely have easy mode. I'd go hammered in if I was going to come back to D2 and do MF runs. I don't know what an MF run is. You're going to have to, like, type that all the way out. So I, could, I, I, I at least know what that means. Mr. Lewis says, Trolling is not about the reaction you get. It's about making someone respond with something that will make other people rage out and leave comments. It's an art. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Dutch Dutch Baron's like Biden is not really the president. <laughs> Follow the Truth Network. <laughs> oh, I love the internet. <laughs> Chuck's like he's half dead already. <laughs> Look, I, I'm reading what he said. It feels great to be a sport. What? Then he says Biden is a Muppet. You mean a puppet? They only tell the truth. It easy else it wouldn't be called truth. Interesting. Interesting. Dr. Burbsick says lol death century has a corpse explosion built into it. Interesting. Interesting. But yeah, this is like all free speech right here for the most part. I, I, I kind of enjoy it. Like, sometimes people want to have other truths and stuff, or uh, uh, so they, they say whatever they want. I, I don't block anybody for, for talking talking smack or whatever. I, I think it's actually pretty fun. There's actually some really good people in here. You know, it's just people doing what they do on the internet, you know, communicating with other people. All right, we're going to make all the money today. Actually, are we even making any money? We got 127 shrapnel and a hundred... Oh, no. I think we're, we're we're down. As long as we're not really down, down, though, because we got, like, you know, about 42 PDs of animal muscle oil. I don't know. It's not like I'm a human calculator or anything. I really could care less. good we good we good all right i guess we want to buy sweat now let's let's just let's just open up the entire chat really quick so we can see cali trade and all of its freaking glory Blake says yeah but corpse explosions damage is a little higher plus set bonuses for it interesting Pop, pop, that's some square balls, man. What? Weird. All right. Let's monitor this for a minute. Cat Monster says, are there emotes and salutes in this game? Yes, there's absolutely emotes and salutes in this game. I have some on my bar right now. There's like a whole book full of them. But I have, I have, uh, and, and you, and they don't cost anything. They, you have access to literally all of them. Like, seriously, you got all sorts of emotes, I guess, somewhere. You got all these in the action library. Oh, emotes. And they're all free. You don't have to pay for them. Look at all these emotes, man. Oh. What? Alright, hold on, hold on. You <laughs> That was threatening. <laughs> hmm. 
Let's see. Let's see. The sleepy. I know. I know. <laughs> Doctor Brute Six says, "I mean, all I have to do is take down one mob, and it all, 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 all die." Lol. See, I'm. I, 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 I try to try to like read the future with some of y'all's some of y'all's chats. So hopefully, I corrected things right. I think that that's a sign of intelligence, but I'm actually kind of dumb, so I, I, I end up being wrong sometimes. RJ is going to be right back because he, uh, he has to use the bathroom. I don't know why he just does not like have a phone or some mobile device he can take with him and just give us updates on how it's going. I might regret saying that one of these days. Alright, we got the big one. It's here. Why does this one hurt so damn much? Look at all these people making all these globals right here. Why can't I do any of that? Oh, it's probably because I'm fighting a Kerberos. You don't global off Kerberoses. Look, all, all that is 90, worth 94 freaking shrapnels. That's, this, is, this is, what the hell, man? Look at look at the the rookie chat again. Most of whom are on ignore list. Mad Max says. Sad Max. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Verdius Roquin says I don't smoke Mary Jane anymore. It's the most interesting things in, in this rookie chat. Plex says, well, yeah, eventually you get so powerful that that's true for any class. I guess. It's true for almost any game, too. Except for, like, Mario Brothers. Like, actually, they had a Mario Brothers RPG I played once. And you could, like, become more extra powerful. I think that was, I, I think I beat that. I'm not quite sure though. But I think that was back in the day when you could rent video games and not actually own them outright. So I, I bet I bet you I didn't beat it, and I had to take it back to the video store or something. I don't even know. You can beat hell mode with no armor, dude. That's what's up. Plague says, don't forgetting wash your hands. RJ Santo will know if you don't. <coughs> oh yeah, that's true. Gotta make sure you wash your hands, everybody. If you don't wash your hands, it's, it's bad news. I, I feel like we're losing money on this hunt. I just have that sinking, sinking feeling. But I guess I guess we'll find out. It's gonna make me mad, but you know, I guess as long as I I get this animal muscle oil, I'll be all right. We'll just like hope we'll, we'll hopefully we uh, actually make a global when we're crafting that here in a minute. Dark one, howdy, lore. Still playing Star Wars? I don't think I've ever played Star Wars. Like in the longest time. I don't think I've played Star Wars. Maybe, maybe I played Star Wars once at someone else's house. Wait, are you talking about this game? This game is not freaking Star Wars. <laughs> I understand now what you're trying to say. All right, everybody. RJ is actually back. It is. It was a great success. 
I don't know why he didn't uh, give us updates while he was in the bathroom, but here we are. He's done. Did you wash your hands? If you didn't wash your hands, go back. That is, that is uh, an order from, from me, directly. Got, got to stop the spread of craziness. Dark one's like, I that game, yeah. It's called Entropia Universe. RG says nah. <laughs> he says now I have to wash my hands. <laughs> it's gross. <laughs> but you do you, man. It's not like you come to my house or anything like that. Yeah. Sweat is not money. When people think of money, sweat has low sexual market value. What? What? Alright, y'all can read that for yourself. Dr. Boobstick says, It looks like an Anarchy Online ripoff. I don't know about that. Oh. See, I don't I don't always have to lock on, right? I could I could do it like this too. I just manually just do things, but I have to lock on. It's like whatever. Just let let me do like nib down. What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Dejan says Curb is a good place for people to sweat off of. Dejan, you're the one that told me earlier that I I'm kind of wrong about all of New Treasure Island because New Treasure Island actually extends to, what, right here? And right here? I I is that correct? Right here? And right here? Because I went along this whole path and there were foul that actually had shared markers on them and the Hyrus actually had shared on them over here too. But I'm not quite sure. Did I show them Leviathan spawns? I don't. I don't know. It, uh, maybe. I I just told them they were in the water. I mean, there's like water all over the place. Go look for the the Leviathan in the water. Yeah. It's mostly over here though. Ooh, maybe we should go fight some Leviathans. That would be tight. I don't... What I really want, though, honestly, is I want a shopkeeper pad. And I, I don't know what exactly... I, I heard that Ambulamaxes, they drop them, but there's no Ambulamaxes on New Treasure Island. Perfect Dork says, so, so, Hey, man! Did, did you get this game yet? Is it still downloading? What's going on? <coughs> You'll be like... Midnight Bacon joined this game. Al Alephist Big Level? Uh, are you trying to say Alephil? The Big Level Alephil drop them? Yeah, is, is that right? How, how big of a level does the Alephil have to be? Because I really want some shopkeeper pads for my shop. Maybe I'll, I'll sell the shopkeeper pads in my shop. Off of a shopkeeper pad. Wouldn't that be cool? We'll get shopkeeper pad inception. Alright, we, we got like a little bit more ammo to, to waste on these curbs. You know, like only 49 animal muscle oil. That should be good enough for a few clicks. 153 PD worth of shrapnel. That we throw into the mix. Perfect Dork says, I have it installed, but I have not signed in yet. I will today. Awesome. Awesome. So, so Dijon, do you think that the Alephil over here could possibly drop the shopkeeper pads or do they have to be bigger than that because they're pretty big over here 
because that would be really cool. But the last time I tried to hunt those things, it, it was I, I was losing so much. Like I, di I didn't realize like how how much it cost to down those things. It's probably about as much as it cost to down these freaking things, but the loot just is always bad. Dr. Boom6 says, My mom came over to visit today and I had D2 to R open and she looked at it and said, Are you playing that devil game again? Didn't you play that enough when you went to high school? <laughs> Jesus says, Alaphil, young dropped. Oh. I thought you said the big level ones drop them. No, no. Now just, you, all of them drop them then? You know, I'm just going to have to farm them. Who cares? I'll, I'll, I'll end up just farming them and see, see if we get anything nice. Plague says, also been playing Skyrim again. I got the upgrade and I've been playing Creation Club stuff. The ghost uh, of the tribunal quest is pretty cool. I don't know what any of that is. Oh, Skyrim and the Creation Club. Uh, I, you know, ooh, ooh, ooh. 311 and 1251. Crazy. We just got extra animal muscle. That is pretty funny. Plague says that's hilarious, Boomstick. I think that that's actually pretty funny that your mom said that. It's a freaking the devil game. This is Diablo, but I guess it is the devil game. And that you used to play it in high school. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> the game's been around for a while. Hero Case Henderson's like, done with this. It's time to take out the troll trash. I guess he's like, ignoring people again. Ooh, what happened? Tier upgrade ready. Congratulations, your corrosive attack nanochip 7 can now be upgraded to tier 1. The item tier cannot increase further until you upgrade. Um, okay. What does it take to upgrade? Lithium ingots, milky crystals, piles of garnet, laser fragments, and tier 1 components. Do I have enough tier 1 components? Do I have enough milky crystals? Ooh, I know I got enough piles of garment, garnets, and I know I got enough laser fragments. Mmm. I think, I think we're going to find out. I don't know what drones sound like. I, I've never owned one. So we're, we're going to go with the standard. Oh, 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 I, I, I know, I know. Hold on. This has to be the drone sound. Right? Am I at least close? Right? Just... Yeah. Because freaking sounds in this game are busted. I figure you pay like $10 for a front... A, 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 a thing. And, and it's not going to work. Alright, there we go. Alright, let's see. Dejan says, I buy 10k shares. But Son of... Oh, snap. Hell no, no, no. Get out of the water. No, get out of the water. No, get out of the water. There is deadly fish in here. And one of them is coming towards me. No, I don't think so, sir. Not today, Satan. All right. By the way, what Steve say, said, what would he say? Um, I, I think he's doubling down on the fact that he thinks that uh, Treasure Island is a bad investment. 
and uh, bad things are going to happen to the game because everyone bought him and he didn't. So he, he still thinks it's a bad investment. But I don't think he made an up, updated video uh, about the, the payouts yet. Um, Doctor, who has a spinner in 2021? I do. Plague says, I know an older couple that the wife was like the husband played a, Di played, played a Diablo and Dungeons and Dragons and she hated it. Dark One says, that Star Wars game looks like AI need to get it. LOL. Dijin says, three peck payout and he said it's a scam. Noob. I can't believe so many people believe him. I know, right? Like, dude. All right, let's see. Uh, merge all stacks. Let's go ahead and throw everything back in there. All right. So we're going to tier upgrade. What do we have? Oh, we need more more Listerium ingots and more Milky Crystal. Let's find out. I don't think we're going to have enough. We have enough of those. What what am I looking for? Milky water? Perfect Dork says my name is Perfect Dork in game. Nice. Ooh, I think we have enough. I don't think we have enough. Ooh, we got enough milky crystals. We need like a hundred more listerium. All right, let's see. I don't want to buy a bunch. Just need a few. Like not even that many. So we'll buy like nine PDs worth. Guy hates spending money. All right, try this again. There we go. Upgrade item. It was successful, and we managed to get twenty nine uh, PDs in shrapnel. How about that? Well, it wasn't a complete loss. Let's merge all the stacks. It's probably the smart choice. Alright, so that being said, we can probably detach all enhancers. And then open this thing up. Give me a second, guys. Alright, so now this thing's opened up. And we can... Throw the... No, that's accuracy. Do we really need accuracy? Or damage? Let's go with damage. 45 to 49. Nice. Alright. This this will be, go, be be two peck deeds this week. I know five or six players that have like 10k stacks but there's like two big investors with like 10%. Yeah, I know. People have like buttloads of shares it's crazy all right uh i didn't do the let's all right let's go ahead and just convert this to the universal ammo how, how many ammos we got about seven thousand um 775 PD of universal ammo. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, do some simple conductors. About a hundred of those and just sit back and uh, enjoy the ride, I guess. So how is everybody doing? Right? Omar Cardenas is like, hola. Hey, man. How's, how's What's up? What's up? Yeah, crafting also counts. Yeah, apparently it does. 
Alright, hold on. Alright, let me make it a little bit more viable for lighting in here, because it's still daytime. Crafting counts on the revenue for New Treasure Island. I don't understand how that actually works, but I think... I mean, if we lose anything, then it goes right back into the system, I guess. And I hope everyone can see this 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 all right. Um, I, I guess I'll just move it to the center, so you can see me and 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 the stuff that's going down. So we're cycling the the PEDs, the Project Entropia dollars, seven fifty right there on the seventeenth success. We still got like a hundred more to go. So we're we're making the big bucks now. <sighs> Animal oil residue. Does it? This is straight TT food. You just throw it into the TT machine and, and get your money, right? Well, what is going on in rookie chat? I ordered a Wookie shirt at Chuck's Tacos last year. Never got it. What? <laughs> Yeah, it's so wicked weird, though, how so many people are so mad that the dang thing, the, the shares sold out in 22 minutes. They didn't get their hands on it. Now it's a big scam, or it's market manipulation, or it's uh, everyone else is, like, super duper greedy. And now I'm not going to go to New Treasure Island to do anything there because I don't want these people getting paid. Okay. That that's cool. And then and then in three months time, whenever whenever it is going to be up on the market and people are going to be selling them, they're going to refuse to buy them at a at, at the 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 new and improved price of probably. Everyone's saying it's going to go up to like twenty PD a pop. And. Dijon says so many people salty they expected no payout and it ended up being three three peck per share and it ended up being more than Crystal Palace Space Station which is absolutely phenomenal um, and it wasn't even out for the full week right so I'm interested to see exactly what it's going to be with a full week of people doing stuff on it it would be actually nice if people were to actually not owning any shares just come over and check out New Treasure Island. Mostly because it's not that freaking bad. It's actually kind of cool hunting here. And the big reason I, I'm hunting here and doing content for it is because there's no other content uh, really being made for New Treasure Island right now. Because, well... Maybe some of the other YouTubers are out there doing it, or maybe I'm the only one. I don't know. I don't know, because I haven't seen uh, Serial Overdrive online for a while. Uh, Stevie B is probably never going to step foot on New Treasure Island. Because he's sitting there thinking it's old Treasure Island and it's some sort of big conspiracy theory or something. It's like, and uh, everyone else is doing their own little thing. I, th I think, uh, I think, uh, Scotty, Scotty might actually end up doing something here. Uh, I think Julian McBain might end up doing something here, eventually. And, uh, I I've just recently found out that there's a new YouTuber on the scene. His name is Min Min. I think that's pretty cool. But mostly, most people just try to stream on Twitch, you know, it's, uh, when you say that, I smile. Do, do other people even play this, White Rune ass? Yes, man. Enough people played this to, to the point where I managed to get, like, ten bucks, man. From, from my, from my three thousand dollars. In one week, I got ten bucks back, man. That's a, that's a decent amount of people. And there, there's a person right beside me right here. There's a Valerie Lockhart. And there's, like, people, like, right there. 
He, he's a sergeant with the Lost Boys, and there's another person right here, and there's another person right here. Like, there's people all over the place, man. Dijon's like, a lot. The sky is falling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Lewis says, from what I see, hella people play this. Yeah. Hella people play this game, man. It has a... It, it did, I mean, look at here. You got all this chat right here. This is the rookie chat. It's where all the noobs hang out. Well, well, not really just the noobs. Like, everyone hangs out in here. Acting like noobs. <laughs> Dijon says, and with the Unreal Engine 5 in a year or so? Yeah. It's going to be interesting once it changes to... Hopefully it looks more exciting so, so people that like excitement gets in it. Dr. Boomstick says they're all bots. No, they're not all bots, man. If they were bots, man, they wouldn't be... Robots can't afford to play this game, bro. Like, are you are you going to fill up a, a, a robot? Like, you're going to have a bot, right? And you're going to fill it up with all sorts of money and have it go hunting till, till there's no money left. And then you're gonna look at it like, what the hell happened? Where'd all my money go? Th that's why you don't use bots with this game. You gotta be like, I'm not getting shit right now. I should probably stop. There's no bots in this game, bro. Uh, you best bet. Except for like the sweaters. They, they uh, Doing the free stuff. Th that might be the closest you'll get to botting in this game. And that's why sweat is only two, two ped per K at most. Because nobody wants to give give bots money. That's right. I said it. I said it. A lot of people act like bots in the sweat circles. And nobody wants to pay anybody money that, that, that are, are just mooching off the system. Like, the dudes that run around be like, Yeah, I'm trying to sell some sweat. Be like, alright, here. Here's some money. All the bots sweat. It's showtime. 007 says, "Noob is a state of mind." Don Adam says, "Byron says looks like an indie MMO from the late '90s." You do realize this game is from the late '90s. <laughs> this game was being developed in the late '90s. It came came online in 2003. It had one or two major graphical upgrades. It's going to have another one here pretty soon. And the reason that they, they're really slow on the uptake for graphical upgrades is because people have crap computers. And every single time there's an upgrade, uh, people with the crappiest computers can't play anymore. Is how that works. And there's people from all over the world that play this game. So you can literally talk to almost anybody in the entire world. So it's, it's pretty cool. And I don't think China can play this game. I, I, I think. I'm not quite sure. It'd be kind of weird. But maybe. Who knows? Dijon says 1.4 for sweat. Per K. For 1,000 sweat, you get. A, okay, so we stopped constructing th this stuff. Got only 71 PDs worth. Oh, 31. My bad. We got f 50 cents of shrapnel. Anything good? Did we get, like, anything good? The 7.5 7 PD was the best. And I feel like I lost my money. That sucks. Whatever. All right. Let's merge all stacks. I I don't think I, I, I don't think I wanna fight the crazy stuff anymore. Stop. I don't want I don't want the storage. I want the TT terminal. I wanna throw this stuff in there. You let me do it. There. Alright. The repair terminal. What's our repairs? Twenty three point thirty four. Alright, whatever. There we go. If they get ads on Epic Game Store. Dark one says China owns this game. Oh yeah, that's right. I heard about that. That's the one thing that might make me cash out. 
is the fact that uh, d they're letting China up in this game. It's that's it's it's good. That's gonna be the the one thing that might make me just cash out immediately. I just want you to know that. Like I found out about this like a couple days ago. I'm like, what? Uh, they don't own this game. It it Swede game, and it regulated. Oh, okay. Um, by by Sweden law. Oh, uh, it's a Sweden game, and it's regulated by Swedish Swedish law. Yes, yes, yeah. It still remains to be a Swedish made game, which I'm I'm totally down with. I'm totally cool with, but the Epic Game Store, that's that's owned by Tencent, and anything that Tencent touches. Ends up ends up getting really just I don't want anything to do with it. As as a matter of uh, principles, because uh, China uh, likes likes to lock people up for religious purposes and they keep political prisoners and and uh, the Chinese government has has slave labor and you know they have gross human rights violations. And they're trying to take over the world. And I'm not a big fan of China. And that's that's why uh, if, 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 if they do connect it to the Epic Game Store, I might cash out on principle. Um, just FYI. You have MindArk Financial Report. Epic Unreal Engine... They're gonna use it. China owns Biden. Dark one says yes. I, I, that that that's that's the theory going around. Ooh, I could go through that tree. I went through the tree. But I mean, I don't know. But see, maybe okay. So it's the epic Unreal Engine that they're gonna use. Which basically means that uh, China is going to have a back door, and for all of the transactions, um, all the monetary transactions, there's going to be hackers hacking into people's accounts um, because China is going to have that ability, and then they're going to steal everyone's money in the game because that's what China does. And uh, yeah, I'm not down with that, man. It's just. I'm not okay with that. So I guess make petitions. Wait, what the hell is this? There's something floating in the air. Back it up, back it up, back it up. What is this? What the hell? Okay, hold on. Seems like... What? What? Why is there things here and floating in the middle of the air? What the hell? Who did this? Like seriously, who did this? What is this? <laughs> DJ says you can't hack. No. No, chi China will find a way, and, and you can't you can't hack the game at its current uh, currently. But if, if if you move it over to that Unreal Engine, which is owned by by uh, what Epic, and then next thing you know, there's gonna be things going down. Why is this here? Dark one says it's okay. I heard a space rock is going to hit us in the next week. Hopefully, it hits China first. Uh, what? Well then, I can't take the stuff. It sucks. It won't let me. I tried. This is weird. It must have, must must be there for some reason. Then no one can move it. All right. So there's a space rock gonna hit us. Well. I mean, that kind of sucks. 
All right. So what are we? What are we doing now? Are we just gonna? What did I say I wanted to fight next? Oh yeah, we're 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 going to the. Uh, Why, why, why am I on the Sky River? I might as well just like... Oh god, there's a bristle hog right here. Get some bristle hog. Ow. Dijon says, Madness is like gravity. All it takes is a little push. Yes. Mr. Lewis says, Hello, my stupid autocorrect is killing me today. Oh, no. <laughs> Dr. Proofstick says, The space rock better wait until I get Jaroon. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, we can see if it, see if, see, if, see what happens. Maybe we'll burn up in the atmosphere. Then we'll all be all right. What is over here? Globster provide... Yeah, no thanks. I'm... It's gonna magically deliciously go somewhere the hell else. <laughs> it's, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna fl Noah's flood all over again. It's got a strict schedule. It's due back in Andromeda in three weeks, so it's coming in hot. Lol. All right, let's go right here. All right, this should be an Alaphil dominant, of which we're going to shoot it in the face, and then we're going to go check the water for for Leviathans. So we should probably change our armor. Valen says Ma needs a troll profession. Yes. Yeah, Probably. Oh wow! Look, we already got the uh, seven seven PDs worth of shrapnel already. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Perseus. Perseus. It's the armor of champions. All right, into the water we go. All right, we got a Leviathan young right here. All right, maybe we should, should go up a little bit. All right, just swim straight to it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This one's closer. We're in the water. Dijon says, my only regret is I did not start the game when CLD was introduced. Yeah, I wasn't here when that, that happened either. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. But then again, I, w I didn't have money back then either, so. You say the, uh, Dijon says the Leviathans give animal looter skill big time. Let's go ahead and look at the, uh, at, uh, the skills that we're going to be getting. We're shooting this with a gun. Um, we already have really good animal, we are advanced animal looter. How are you shooting a gun underwater? I tried it once, it didn't. It, it, because guns in video games are different from guns in real life. And this takes place really in the future, so it doesn't really matter. They, they fixed that problem, Boomstick. Darkwood says. That's what the Looney News has been reporting anyway, keeping that fear going 24-7. If it's not viruses or wars, it's space rocks and the joys of life. That makes sense that I haven't heard about it until today. Mr. Lewis says it's made by Tesla. It's big brain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was told that these things drop some really good stuff. I, 
I guess four PED is pretty good. Almost five. You can hear my respirator. You can't drown in this game. I think that that's pretty cool. All right, let's let's, let's go with some mind force action going on. They need to add TP self. Uh, White River says, "What is PED?" All right, PED is the currency of this game, where one U.S. dollar is equal to ten Project Entropia dollars. PED, Project Entropia dollars, ten equals one dollar. So, three hundred and forty-four PED down at the bottom of the screen, or right here, is worth $34. It's $34. You move the decimal over by one. Dark One says you can't drown. That's because you're a Jedi, Lou. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> White River says, these creatures give you four each? God, I don't know. W let's find out. I doubt it. We're probably going to get hosed. Let's let's find out how much we get hosed. It gave us 175 and 52. So that was like... 225, probably? Yeah, we just got hosed. All right, uh, Dijin says, but people don't understand companies stand behind that. Stand behind what? Oh, the company stands behind the 10, 10 ped, uh, uh, $1 equals 10 ped, yeah. In-game Biochronicle says, when I first started playing, you could drown, but you could also get stamina for swimming. Ooh, damn. That sounds nice, actually. Jesus says, even if game fail, they will pay you that money. Yes, they will. Hopefully. If you have the TT value. That is. If you, if you, if you have the, the, the shares and the deeds, you're, you're going to be, like, hosed. You're going to be hosed. Oh, wait! Uh, 419 plus 60. So it looks like, uh, look at that big ass fish, bro. But Dijin says the game won't fail. I believe that the game won't fail. Is there another one on us? Oh, son of a bitch. I get. I guess we're screwed. There is a payout option. It's true pay to win game, but you'll spend like 100k or something to get to the top. But the thing is, you don't need to get to the top. You, cause you, it, it, you don't need to get to the top. You just need to like ease yourself into it and just play as you play for fun. You know, play at the the level of monetary gain and loss that you can handle. You know. But yeah, there is a payout option, and yes, I have made a withdrawal from this game. Wow, we got three freaking big ass fish on us. Dark one says, but to be honest, your guy looks like an Aquaman. Yeah, I know. You need to spend a lot. Uh, well, if if I mean, if you want to go out and PvP all of the PvPers, you're you're gonna have to spend as much as they spent. I mean that that's kind of true. Wow, six seventy and sixty. Yeah, it, it's not bad. I mean, we're getting back what we put in. But I'm in no position to to fight on such a high level with other people in this game, so I, I don't PvP in this game. It's just, I mean, if do what you want, but you're, you're gonna get hammered every single time. 
Um, but that being said, I mean, if if I had more hit points, I'd, I'd probably be more apt to do it. But I'm still on the low end of things. You start with like what, 80 hit points when you're a brand new character, and I have like a hundred extra hit points. I got like 180. And I still can't compete with those guys because they got like 200 hit points or even more. Like, because they've been playing a long time and they've been throwing money into it and stuff like that. But there's lootable PvP that you can participate in. And uh, I mean, that's that's cool. It's cool if you can kill other people. That's great. But if you can't, you, you might as well just stay the hell away. Alright, there we go. There we go. 727 on that one. But with this game, I mean, you can in enjoy whatever whatever you, if you... You can enjoy it at a lower level, too. You know? It doesn't necessarily have to be PvP. I think most of the PvP, though, is done on the markets. Through trading and, and all this other stuff. You know? If I wanted to, I could just throw a few thousand dollars in and just buy and, and trade. And buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell and buy and sell. And I'll make a profit. But I don't want to do that because I just I don't have the patience for that. But all in all, like, I mean, I'm still getting a passive income, like, weekly for the most part. Weekly and sometimes daily. Just owning the shares, which is, you know, that's pretty cool. 719. Dr. Broomstick says, I have killed so many cows on Diablo 2 this last week. I'm surprised PETA isn't knocking down my door. Lol. Dijon says he's he has 305 hit points. Don Adams says he has 174. I think uh, I think I'm, I'm on par with you. I got 173, and with with the ring I have an extra 12, so 185. What? Okay. Uh, press the button, go boom. Aha! I'll just shoot it. Why does it pay, though? Uh, what do you mean, why does it pay? Well, pretty much what you put into the mob, theoretically, you'll get like 90% of it back. And then. The reason we have right here all this green wall of text right here is you've gained uh, experience in your weapon handling skill. Skill. Rifle skill. Range damage skill. Uh, all these skills and stuff. That's where some of your losses go. That's why it's like 90%. You get like 10% in skills. Stuff like that. Dijon says it took me 10 years to get 300 hit points and millions of pets cycled. That, yeah, I believe that. Uh, 1737 right here. Not too shabby. This looks like dang. And see, you can take a thousand PED, a hundred dollars worth of ammo, and you can cycle that ammo, uh, probably like five six seven times uh easily to i mean to to equal up to like uh five thousand cycled you know you can cycle like five thousand out of a hundred dollars because you, you just keep going like you'll turn it back into ammo all your loots and stuff then you can go back hunting some more you know if you're lucky you can do it that many times so i mean it just keeps going in and in and in and in and in And you just keep getting your skills up and stuff like that. And then, if you ever want to cash out, you could take all the skills that you got and sell them to other players. 
and pray that you make a little bit of money back. Yeah. Barbara says, I just don't understand how or why they can and will give you real money. All right. They, their liabilities... And, and their profits basically come whenever you actually do an activity. That's when they get their profit. Or whenever they charge you a fee like on the auction house. That's when they take their money. Other than that, all the players get their money. And they don't. They, they, they tend to not mess with any of that money that the players have. So that means the players can trade between each other and stuff like that. That's where the economy portion comes in. And then... You can be, be like, well, here you go. I want this money back. And then they'll keep that exchange rate of 10 to 1. Where, you know, and then they'll give you your money back. But they don't make their profits unless you're doing an activity. Such as shooting a gun. Which, ooh, 20... Nice, 31. Over 31 PD. I'm not, I'm not going to math out all, this, all that small stuff. Never sell skills. Yeah, I, I don't plan on ever doing that. It's Showtime says it's a sh slot machine. No, it's not. Don't treat the game like a slot machine. It's Showtime says White Rim because they probably made a thousand dollars off you withdrawing five hundred from Peds. I earn. Oh, you buy it all all your deeds from Peds you earned in game. Right on. That's that's the trick right there. Asian says you can make money in this game. Yeah, and I, I I know. Trust me on this, I know. Like most of, most of my 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 project entropia dollars will go to shares. The moment I start losing like if I feel like I'm losing uh while I'm hunting and stuff like that and I I I just get like all right, I need a break from the game for a while. I'll just take all of my PED, I'll throw it into shares, and I won't come back for a while. You know? It's, it's pretty much what I did with Fallout 76. I was like, alright, I'm going to play Fallout 76 for a while, play it for two years, and every Sunday, I would log into this game, and I would check my shares, and reinvest my shares, and all that. And then, then I'd, I'd go back to Fallout and do whatever. And now that I'm back... I'm like, all right, we're getting all this money per like, like seriously from the video uh, yesterday's video I think it was, where we just basically stated all all the money we made off shares alone, it was like two hundred and sixty PED from one week of 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 deed income, everything freaking paid out, and. I was really, really freaking happy. Because that's, that's what? $26 in one week. That I can just use to keep playing this game. And see, if I wanted to keep making money, right? If I wanted to keep making money, I would just not hunt or, or mine or craft or anything like that. And just like let the deed income just keep accruing and keep buying more shares, but because I'm trying to make content again for for Entropia, it's only natural that I use some of the PED that I get to to actually make the content and level up and all this other stuff because it's it's I mean it's fun uh, to go out for a hunt every once in a while to just go out and just blast things and see if you can't get lucky. Now, we haven't gotten a really seriously big, swirly, worthy loot yet. But I have a really big feeling that one of them's actually coming pretty soon. Uh, Dijin says, uh, 
you're never gonna make money but you forget your time and skill is in game is worth is worth money unlike other games yeah I mean you'll make money if you don't like do anything and just play play the markets and trade and stuff like that but if you're actually hunting and mining and crafting and stuff and, and unless you're like really really good and and always go after high markup items allegedly I guess I'm not quite sure and sell them at a, a decent enough profit you could probably you know profit but if you're just going out shooting things or or like some people they they sit there and uh, do explosive projectiles like and craft like the biggest run of explosive projectiles on like impossible levels and then end up getting like big massive globals that get shown to everybody like oh they're making so much money and in actuality they're losing so much money uh, off off the stuff that doesn't click well Heijin says I made though you forgot to read that I made money on hunting well, yeah. Dijon's made money on hunting. He, he probably knows where to go to get the best stuff. <laughs> but he also has the levels and the hit points to fight some big mobs. I don't have that right yet. I still have a lot of leveling to do before I can fight bigger mobs or anything like that. Or, or the more vicious mobs that go down kind of easily but I'm only like level 40 you know all right Leviathan challenge increase let's claim our reward um DJ what should I pick what should I pick oh you're 108 laser dang dude yeah that's that's what's up Athletic. All right. 33 skill ups from the athletic skill. It increases your evade and hit points. Oh, nice. Maybe I'll start, start picking that more often. So I've been picking dumb stuff, but then again, I've also not been really doing much of the codex. So I guess, well, if I'm gonna be doing the codex and stuff, uh, I'll start picking that more often. In-game Biochronicle says, besides the chips, everything Lore is using was made by a player. Yes. Like the R Matrix BC40, I bought off the auction house, but I know for a fact that this is crafted by other players because. I can literally craft this thing. Like, I can do it. Why I bought it? Because I didn't feel like crafting it. Because I had to sell off most of my crafting materials to to buy more uh, Calypso land deeds, apparently. I was going to buy more uh, New Treasure Island shares, but it went to Calypso land deeds. So I'm, I'm, there we go, right there, a global for 108. That's a hundred and eight. That's ten dollars and eighty cents. We we are we are striking the big time now. These ones like grats. It's showtime. 7 says I am hunting Fethloids at Fort Fury. Why don't you come to New Treasure Island and hunt something cool here? <laughs> help me out, man. Hunt at Treasure Island and and, 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 and help me make some money every week. It's good. It's good looting. Uh, I'm really hoping that my animal looters... I got advanced animal looter skill. Dijon, does this help me out in any way? The looter skills? Have you, have you actually found that looter skills do anything? 
Because it'd be kind of embarrassing if they don't. Rank 5, you get looter skills. Dark One says, this game is pretty good if you can make actual cash off of it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can make real money off this game. And that's why, I mean, it looks kind of lame. Well, actually, it kind of looks kind of freaking cool. But the action's not too spectacular or anything like that. But that's because they, they can't change the game too much. Because there's so much real money riding on it. You know? Like, people would get really upset if they changed the entire game and how it works. And how to, how to, how to do things. Alright, looter skills do help. Less cycle to get 97%. Which probably explains why I, I actually kind of do really well on my hunts. You need to invest to skill up. Yeah. I, I already invested a lot already in my looter skills. To be completely fair though. I think I think now I need to, to grind it out a little while. And then, then try to invest a little bit more later. Dark was like, oh, that's mental. Yeah, it is. <laughs> um, Mr. Fishy, come and play closer to me. Why aren't you moving? I'll move to you. Because you're just unreachable right now. There. Be, be reachable. Dijon says, look at Messi. He makes real life earning playing a game hunting. Yeah, I've heard all about Messi. I shout him out sometimes. That's crazy. But I, I guess it just takes a little while. Um, getting all the skills and investing in the right way. I mean, if I was going to chip in anything, it'd probably be more uh, animal looter skills. And uh, other, other looter skills and stuff like that. But see, I'm still getting butchering skills up. Once once I start getting less butchering skills, that'll be about time to start chipping in. And there's many others that make money in this game. Yeah, I want to be. I want to. I, I kind of want to be a part of that. I'm not gonna lie. But in all honesty, I also want to, I also want to enjoy the ride to get there too. There, there's, there's a few things I just want to grind out for a little while. All right, let's go. I could really use another global though. Five thirteen. Oh, it's an ugly fish. He looks very upsetty spaghetti. He has like, what, eight eyes? How creepy is that? Probably just as creepy as things that you'd actually find in the ocean. Oh, really? I guess the sun's starting to go down. It's already five? Jeez, oh, Pete's, man. Time flies when you're having too much fun, I guess. Hades says, hey, Lord's babe. Dijon says, the only bad side is you need to wait. Yeah. Wait, the only bad side to what? 
three months for money. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Your deposits and withdrawals. The withdrawals is three months. I mean, that does kind of suck, but I understand why they do it because they they, they want to make sure that you're not like cheating the system or whatever. So that makes sense. White Run says I'm gonna take off. Take care, y'all. Hey, you have a good one, White White Run. Maybe one of these days you might play this game. Hmm. <laughs> Have a good one, dude. Ah, it's unreachable. In-game Bio Chronicle says, lol, that was a while ago. It's a sea pug. It's ugly. Look at this thing. Nom. Nom, nom. I'm eating pizza tonight. I'm eating pizza. Uh, I'm a big ugly fish. Hell yeah. <laughs> right, oh, how far along are we? Um, Still got a little ways to go till we get the BLP sniper hit past the laser sniper hit. But I'm okay with that. Unreachable Leviathan Young. Let's get close to that. Uh, he's reachable now. Dijon says, all public, they need to make... You can read. Scotty! C93, hey man! How is it going? Katie says, going fishing, Lord Spade? Yes, we are going fishing for the Leviathans, and it's good stuff. I'm gonna have. We actually made 100 PD Global not that long ago, like a few minutes ago. It was freaking amazing. We have, we have background music. Tell a chill. This is one of my favorite scores. And we're underwater, fighting leviathans. Scotty says, yeah, good, man. Just woke up, saw you online. Got to support the homies. Hell yeah, man. If, if you guys don't know already, uh, Scotty, uh, C93... Scotty underscore C93. He also does Entropy Universe content. Go subscribe and help him out as well. I think he has more viewers than I do. Um, it, here at Entropia. That's because I took a long break making Fallout 76 content. Does it sound about right? Via Gaming is here. Hey man. It's been a minute. How you doing? It's gonna be pizza time here pretty soon. Maybe it's pizza time already. Maybe I'm just smelling things that aren't here. How much money have you spent? We got 278. Pretty much break breaking even. Except for the fact that we're going to have a really huge repair bill. Yeah, pizza time, man. Pizza time. Definitely. Alright, thank you for disappearing. No, it's DiGiorno. We're not ordering out pizza, Hades. It's DiGiorno. But I might just be imagining things. Pizza does sound good. It's Showtime 007. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Uh, we are over the two hour mark, too. So, um, amazing with that. Let me go ahead and kill this bad boy right here. Can't believe we actually made a really good global. Don Adams says he's preheating the oven now. 
Hell yeah. Once I start talking about food, everybody starts thinking about food. And it's like 5.13 p.m. It's dinner time. Ooh, a supercharger component. Kind of want to kill another one. I must kill another one. I'm not done yet. And I think we got another one on our, on our six coming in. Coming in hot. It's a Leviathan Mature. We'll definitely kill some of these things. The sad part is uh, this really expensive armor I have is about to die. But I do have uh, replacement parts in the Shadow Realm. But that's about to die as well. I think the other parts actually start to decay a lot faster than these parts, so I sold them. So I just need to get the thigh, uh, the shin guards, the face mask, and I think that's it. Because I have everything else. And then I'll have a full set of shadow again. Via Gaming says it's chicken sandwich for him. Hey, there is nothing wrong with a good chicken sandwich, my friend. As a matter of fact, this sounds pretty good too. Alright, we'll burn the rest of this guy down with one of these. Because magic fire works underwater. Actually, this is acid damage. So I guess that that's pretty pretty nice. So we're just gonna We're gonna let the uh, Leviathan have a good time on acid. Uh, while it corrodes him. And that's how we're going to make money off this guy. Don Adams says, that's why I stayed away from disposable items. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like limited items as well. I, I like the limit, uh, or I don't like the limited items. I like the unlimited ones. This corrosive attack nano chip seven, I like it. I've had really good loot with it. Um, but if I could get an arsonist chip that's unlimited, that would be really dope. But disposable items, I mean, you got you got to support the economy sometimes. But once you get to that point where you don't have to anymore, I guess that's the thing. But I'm not I'm not a big fan of repair bills. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do the what the hell? Just. <laughs> That's goofy. Alright, let's go home. Treasure Island City. Alright, the rest of my night's gonna be pizza and anime. You know what I mean, right? Pizza and anime. That's gonna be perfect. Like I said, we're watching uh, Talentless Nana and. Uh, I thought it was going to be a cute anime. About a bunch of kids and they have special powers. Didn't didn't expect uh, 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 murder. I did not expect a, a serial killer. And that's all the spoilers I'm going to give. Alright. 39 PED and repair bills is probably coming off of this right here. Mostly because of the fire rate control beast. Yeah, it's a good amount. But the rest of it's limited, so it's whatever. Skill increase bonus. I guess we have... Oh, yeah, that's right. Disposable armor. Oh, look, it's New Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's take a look at uh, what we managed to get from this little hunty hunt. Three hundred and three, and uh, puts that right there. Five hundred and eighteen with three hundred and three. That's eight hundred. I think we've gone up from where we were. I don't know. All all I know is we were cycling some PED today. We got probably a, a big old glob of skills. But as always, 
look. Some people just TT everything. I, I really don't. I just like to save everything. Everything, and maybe I'll make a little bit of money off of it later. Once I get a nice big fat stack of something. Might get a little bit extra or something. I'll just save it all up. And if I really need the money, I'll just look in here and be like, Alright, this is, this is going to be a big old fat stack. And let's go ahead and convert that back in the ammunition. There it is. 820. I started the day with uh, 1,000 PED and universal ammo, and we're only down 200. God knows. We've actually made a lot in other things, though. All right. Dijon says, you made me hungry and too late to order pizza now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure you can eat your neighbors. But that's cannibalism. That's illegal. So don't get caught. <laughs> Alright guys. Thanks for showing up everyone. Dijon, thank you so much for the advice. And uh, Scotty. Hell yeah. Hopefully somebody catches that shout out. If they didn't, go, go subscribe to Scotty. C93. Because it's, it's cool. Dijon is like, what? Uh, I'm not going to eat my neighbors. <laughs> Vader Shamel says, don't eat your neighbors. Eat your neighbors. <laughs> okay, don't eat your neighbors. Perfect says, it was fun all. Toodles. Save them for tomorrow. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, the apocalypse is slowly creeping upon us, everyone. Remember, do not trust your government. Um, do not let your government control you. Uh, don't trust the media. Because they're, they're, I don't know what the hell they're doing. And uh, capitalism for the win. Buy silver and gold. And uh, remember, L Lure Spade videos have returned. It's December 1st. Yeah. Don't, don't eat your neighbors. Save, save them for when you're really hungry. Till next time. <laughs> Bye everybody